I just bought this brand new LED light strip which I want to install in my vehicle so that I can have some nice multicolored LED illumination. I thought that would look really cool. But here's the problem. These days, they have these plugs on the end. These 5 volt USB plugs. So, you'll notice that gone are the days where people use these. These are becoming archaic relics. I mean, now this vehicle actually has more USB ports, like you see right here. I've got two. One is for my headphones that charges by USB, as well as this light, USB. Of course, the lightning cable for my smartphone. There's another USB. So you've got you've got a lot of USB stuff going on here. S standard USBs, mini USBs. I mean, it, that's pretty much going to be the new norm. USB 5 volt DCs in a 12 volt vehicle. Now, aside from creating your own voltage regulator, which I don't think many people want to do, I'm going to show you actually how you can go ahead and use this USB plug in the designated location like it should be in the factory location like this whoop, and use it the way it's intended to but I'm gonna also take out the fear because this one here this cord is not gonna be long enough before it starts to turn into the regulator plus remote receiver for the remote on this LED strip so you're going to have the problem where you're gonna to need to extend this so what I'm gonna show you is in the back in the warehouse I'm actually gonna go like this we're gonna cut this dissect it and I'm going to show you what's going on in here and take the fear right out of there. Take a look in the back. There's your standard DC 12 volt plug. Here you've got your 110 AC for your voltage inverter. And look at that. Just to prove a point, you see USBs are outnumbering the standard DC plugs 2 to 1. I rest my case. Here's my LED light strip once again right here. This is that wire that I chopped out inside. So what we're going to do is just extend this cable so that we, it'll fit and I can get this USB into the port in the truck and have plenty of slack. So when we cut this lead inside here, you'll see you've got a red, which is going to be 5 volts coming from the USB plug positive. Here, the black is going to be your ground. Now, if this were a standard USB, there would also be a pair of white and green leads, which would be the data to and from or RX and TX. That's a typical USB cable. However, keep in mind that this is just a light. It's only designed to take voltage in to the transformer and remote sensor eye to control the power to the light. That's all this is for. So in this case, all I have to do is take these. I've got some pre-twisted wire over here, which I'm just going to use color to color. Extend. Reconnect on the other end. Some heat shrink and solder. Tape it up. And that's it. So these days, I mean, it's just so common to have these USBs. They're coming much more and more prevalent over the more modern, you know, vehicles. So that's pretty much it. I mean, if you're going to want to do this, that is how it's done.